<sighs> Peer pressure. The thing of legends. Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. Before I do start this particular video, I want to give a little bit of a shout out once again to uh, Life Adventures of Christian for giving me this particular topic to talk about um, today. So, thank you, Christian, for that. Uh, if you guys are not subbed or haven't checked out his channel yet, at least consider going and checking out. I'll have a link to that in the description below. That being said, let's go ahead and get started with this uh, this topic. Peer pressure is something that a lot of us have to deal with, it, if not every one of us. And it's something that pushes a lot of unwanted or unnecessary situations. This isn't always the case, but the only time it's really not is when people are saying some things to benefit others. However, for the most part, that's not the case, unfortunately. And because of that, peer pressure seems more like, you know, what its statement implies. Pressure brought on by peers. And it's honestly kind of sad to see. Peer pressure is something that I don't experience too often personally, but I know so many people who have um, dealt with this kind of thing to a degree that they cannot handle. And it's saddening to watch. Now, maybe if peer pressure was only used for like benefiting others in a positive way, and no negative outcome really came out of it, it wouldn't be as big a deal. But the fact of the matter is this isn't the case. And it's sad. <sighs> Regardless, peer pressure is one thing that does still have that potential to benefit others. Because even though most of the time it is used in a very negative way, it does still have its positive potential. Now, I'm not going to go too much into depth about that positive potential. Maybe I can in another vid. I could split this into two individual vids if necessary. But I guess you could, or at least this first, maybe, maybe I can do it in one. We'll see. But let me go ahead and at least talk about this. My personal opinion on peer pressure kind of cores on those that, who are close to me who have had to deal with it. And it's not good. They get pushed to doing things that end up hurting them so drastically that it, it's painful to see, actually. And for someone like me, who when I see others I care about in pain, I physically start feeling that pain. And it is horrible. It is ballistically terrifying to me. I don't know if ballistically is the right term, but you get the point. <sighs> Regardless, I might as well talk about it since I do have quite a bit of time to do so. There are positive versions of this. Positive peer pressure. Now, it doesn't sound accurate based off the term that terminology that I used for it, but there are positive ways to go about peer pressure, or positive ways to use it. For example, someone decides, hey, I'm stuck in a situation where I want to get this long distance job, but I need a degree to do it, but I don't have the motiva motivation to approach this degree. Positive peer pressure could go, hey, you can do it. I'll be there to support you all the way, but do it. You need to do this. It is for your own good. That is positive peer pressure so long as it's accepted. And those kind of pressures are actually, it's more support. Which is why it's not under the topic of peer pressure, but in technical speaking, it is, in a sense, peer pressure. However, 
does that really mean very much under the long run of all this? I don't know. I wish I could say. But I guess when you think about it, peer pressure can go both ways. It has pros and it has cons, depending on how you approach it. Now, I've only really said positive peer pressure with its pros and negative peer pressure with its cons. When you think about it, both have both. The negatives of positive peer pressure is it the same it's actually the same as the ones of negative. The illusion of choice. Now this might seem kind of like a ballistic or not ballistic. Unrealistic. I don't know why I said ballistic. Probably because I've already said it already. But it gives off an unrealistic look on how peer pressure is approached. For example, let's start with the negative one. Negative peer pressure. You're going to be under a lot of distress. However, there is one pro to it. A learning curve. From negative peer pressure, you find in the long run when you listen to it, the mistake that was made from doing it and you won't make it again. It's a learning experience. However, it doesn't drop the cons of it, but it goes both ways. Positive peer pressure actually does have cons as well. The pro is that when you listen to them, you get a better outcome. But the cons come from when it's first presented. Doubt. Now this, I've noticed, doesn't happen with everyone, but it happens with a lot of people. Subconscious doubt has a ten tendency to appear when people go under positive peer pressure because they want to take their own path for the most part. And positive peer pressure can have the potential to give the idea. Now negative does this as well. But people fall under negative peer pressure a lot more easily than positive, which is why I'm only giving this to positive. That being said, I digress, and, and I continue saying that I do believe that positive peer pressure's cons are truly the doubt that comes off of trying to go down that path. I have seen this happen firsthand, and it's almost as equally as painful as the opposing. But, so long as people are able to go down the path that's needed, whether with the positive one or the negative one, then I do believe that peer pressure isn't as bad as some may believe, but it is still not good. Also, ow, I hit my finger against my desk unintentionally. Fudge, that hurt. Well... Either way, I am gonna leave this video here. What do you got what are your guys' opinions on peer pressure? And like the pros and cons that I presented. Do you agree? Do you disagree? If so, on each one. How so? I'd like to know. Let me know in the comments below. If you liked my thoughts on this particular topic, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't say it anymore. And if you really like me talking about this kind of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel. I do this kind of stuff live. Uh, videos once every day alongside another gaming video. Um, if you want to check out any other discussion rant videos that I've done, um, well actually before I say that, one last shout out to Life Adventures of Christian, uh, an ex-roommate of mine actually and a friend of mine. Um, Christian suggested this to me actually a few hours ago as of this recording. Make sure to go check out his channel if you guys haven't yet. He does a lot of live videos, like vlogs, not live, not live streaming live, but he does do a lot of vlogs. He does live stream on other circumstances, but that's for him to reveal, not for me. However, I am willing to at least put a link, once again, to his channel in the description below. If you haven't checked it out, I do recommend it if you do like vlogs. Vlogging channels in general, actually. Um, that being said, Want to check out any of the discussion rant or about me videos that I've done? 
discussion rants like the one today, or about me, like the ones I've been doing very frequently recently, click the links on the sides of my head. If you do like it, really like this kind of stuff, again, I do one of these every single day. So consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean a lot to me if you did. However, in the meantime, I'm going to head off, but I hope to get, catch you guys in another video. <sighs> oh my gosh. I am going crazy. Bye for now.